Hello everyone, my name is Vince and I'm the director of uh, Vince Studio, which is an uh, interior design firm and it's not a dancing studio, right? So I'm an interior designer and today I'll be sharing with you guys how is it like being an interior designer in Malaysia. So, um, yet due to all the changes of people's lifestyle nowadays, we can, we can see that interior design is already becoming the, one of the uprising career that there's a lot of young generations are looking into, right? That is all because of our social media nowadays that most people, they have already changed their lifestyle. Like those days, the old timers, like if your parents or everything, do we really design our house? Do we really like renovate it nicely? No, it's different. And also like right now you can see everyone, we, when we drink coffee, we'll go to a cafe, which like a, a, a cup of coffee is going to cost you more than 10 ringgits. And for the old timer, they will just go to coffee town, which is like less than two ringgit for a cup of coffee. This is why uh, the changes of people's uh, perspective towards the spending. So, First, uh, when we first when we started our own company, so there's quite a lot of problems that we have been facing as an interior designer in Malaysia, because like when we just when we first started, our targeted audience, which is like our clients, they are the generation that is above, which is like their age between at least like above thirty years old. So their perspective is a bit different, and they actually don't know what are interior designer and they don't know what we actually do, right? So, um, like, when we, when we go, go up to, if you see any of the contractors firm and carpentries and curtains, all of them, their companies, they always, if you see their signboard, they will have an interior design. It's like ABC interior design. And at the bottom, then they have a small, smaller uh, tagline writing that uh, they actually supply curtains and they actually do carpentry. So this is what that, cause our uh, the most people in the society they are misleaded and they thought that this is interior design right so um many thought we are just doing decorating because like as as for as for most people they thought designer they are just going to make a beautiful house this is what we do and most people think it is not necessary especially for the clients of my generation because like for them if they if they already like painted the house and with wallpapers everything is already good enough, it don't have to do don't have to do anything just to beautify and they, they don't feel like spending that money for it. So at the beginning when we just uh, come up and as a interior designer, when people ask, we will say what people ask like what do you do actually? Then we will say uh, basically we do everything because our company we do design consultation. And also we do renovation. It's like from A to Z. If you just bought a new house, you just uh, give us give us your key and say that what is the thing that you would like to have inside. And at the end of the day, we will just pass you back the key and you can bring your luggage and move in. That is what we do. But when we tell our clients that we basically do everything, they don't know what is it because like for them, interior design is about carpentry. It's about like getting the works done. It's about the so then our clients who comes in to us, they will start to call us up and say that uh, I need you guys to design a TV cabinet or to design a wardrobe. So this is what not, this is not what we want. So then we realize that this is not what we should be uh, telling to the people and we should start to educate them. So before I go uh, deep, deeper into the, uh, my topic today, I'll just share with you guys that actually I never thought that I'll be sharing you guys today on stage as a interior designer because like when I was a kid, I always wanted to become a chef because I love cooking and it's, a, it's true also that you, you won't get a chance to experience interior designing when you were a kid, right? But you can do cooking. So it's like because I'm not a very good at studying uh, it so that I never thought that I would be doing something that is that is like required a lot of knowledge for me because I thought I'm not a smart student. So, yeah, when I was uh, studying in school, I am not a good boy and I am not really disciplined and I spend most of my time playing and I play basketball especially because I I, I wish I could, I could go taller. <laughs> yeah, and then um, 
So how do I actually get into interior design? It's like I almost I almost get expelled by the school when I was in the high school because of my results were really really bad. But it is not because I'm not good at studying for the school for the principal. For them, it's like I did not I did not really uh, spend my time to study. So for them, it's like I'll give you a chance, but you will need to sign a pledge by saying that if you get complaints like anyone, like any teacher in the school that uh, even if your hair is long, your nails is long, you are going to get expelled immediately. But by saying the pledge, I will not expel you right now, but you have to study well. So this is the turning point of my life, right? So, so how did I actually become an interior designer? Because I, at my time, most people, most parents, they always wanted their their children to become a doctor, a lawyer, engineer, accountants. But why interior design for me? Like first of all, because my result is not really good, so my my parents like never expect me to become a doctor, right? Yeah. So. This is what this is what happened. Like my mom, one day when I when I was actually choosing like what subject that I'm going to study, then my mom told me, "Why not you study interior design?" And I was like, "Why?" Then my mom said, uh, "Interior design is cool, and it's easier for you to get a girlfriend." <laughs> yeah, but then I listened to my mom and I go to study as interior designer. But yes, I found a girlfriend immediately, and today she is my wife. Oh. Uh, and today she is actually uh, running the uh, the company with me, which means like our design company is actually just run by me and my wife, two of us. We do not have a very big scale office because we do not want to make it too commercialized that we do projects just to make money. We want to design like to change the world. For us, it's like we want to change the world. We want to add value to all the things that we do, and we would like to design an experience instead of a beautiful stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, please remember always listen to your mom, they are always right. <laughs> so I found my patient on interior design after I started uh, studying. So because I, I, I wasn't really know what interior design is before I started. So that's why I always wanted to become a chef. So after I, after I started studying, I found that it is actually quite fun. But it's not fun at the progress. It's not like, it's not fun when you are doing the interior design work, right? Because the progress is going to be countless of sleepless night, that you're going to rush for drawings, for submissions, and there's going to countless of amendments. Imagine like a, a man's ego that when you propose to your clients about the design, then they always say there's things to be changed. And there's amendments from the biggest thing to the color and even to because like we we show 3D drawings to our clients and of course, when we show the three drawings, we try to make it as realistic as possible. So we put in all the decorative plants, even like we have a table and we have a pot of flower on the table, then we put it in the 3D and show to the clients to make, make them feel more realistic. So at the end of the day, we get even like our clients feedback asks us to change the pot of flower on the table. Like this is the things that we, we are even facing as an interior designer. And also, Imagine if you are running out of time, you have to do the submission and you are running out of ideas at the same time. Because design is not a, like a calculation, you cannot like just, just calculate and you get the solution, you get the answer for it. Sometimes if you need some ideas, so what happens if you have run out of ideas, right? So interior design plays a very important role in everybody's life nowadays. So because of the change of uh, people's lifestyle, everyone wish to have a better home. Like, if you are, if you go to work every day and you are tired, you are frustrated, and you wish when you come back home, and this is how your house, this is how your home looks like, and you go in and take a shower, and how relaxed is it? This is this will make your life better. You will feel happier, and you will become like more productive even if, when you are working, right? So. People always ask, what, what are designers actually doing? Like as, as, as I said, we are not just beautifying stuff. So we are actually, I have a I have a tagline for myself that we are actually like a magician or we are actually like an inventor. That we we don't really just uh, beautify stuff, we don't just make your bedroom beautiful, but we are actually solving problems 
with a uh, artistic solution. So and also we are designing experiences and we are adding value to the space that we design. So this is some uh, examples of the projects that we have done and this is more for the houses. And you can, as you can see, we have, we, we have projects from big houses to like even small apartments. And what we do is try to, try to make sure we understand the story of our clients and we know what they actually want, what, they, what, what is their lifestyle going to be like. Because some people, they like natural, they, they, they like the nature. So they would like their house to be more open up and more open air too, so that they have a lot of plants and those stuff. And some they are living is like more urban, they love privacy. So it's like high rise building and maybe the size is smaller. So this is how we actually design to capture their need. So as I mentioned just now, this is what we do as an interior designer. We give solution, we design experience, and we add value to our design. So how is it? Let me show you a few examples. Like this is one of the projects that we have done. And this is actually one of the renowned Feng Shui Master in Malaysia, Joey Yap. So actually we, we did the design for their office in uh, the gardens. And actually we do this for free. And why are we doing that? Because like they found us uh, at, at the very beginning of our startup, which is like at the moment, at that time we do not have much uh, projects. And because like not much people they, they know us like but our com our company is targeting on clients which is mostly high end residential and commercial. So for those high end uh, clients they will they will not get a designer who is like fresh and without any portfolio. So when Joey Yap he approached me, so we actually uh sponsor them the design for the office and what why we do so because like. Since he is one of the most renowned and expensive Feng Shui master in Malaysia, then what is his clientele? His clientele is basically mine as well. So if I if I design for his office, then when people come to their, his office and saw the design, they will be like, "Wow, who is the designer?" And that is my chance, and that is my opportunity to get a new project. So this is how we actually add sol uh, we do solution for. The, for this uh, their office because like in Feng Shui they always they don't like a uh, sharp corners like inside the house because like uh when they render this space is a triangle space so that if they if we do a partition it's going to be a lot of sharp angles uh towards like all the tables sitting that which like not good in Feng Shui and also they are about in Feng Shui there's all about qi qi which means like the flow of the air so. In terms to make the flow better, so we we actually give the solution by putting putting in all the all the requirements that is needed, and we actually use all of the corners which is actually rounded. So in this, you won't see any like edges like this sharp. And this is like their boardroom is like a aquarium inside the, the the office. And secondly, is like how we actually design experience. So this is one of the project we have done, which is a, uh, one of the most luxury hotel in London. So it is just a concept, it's just a proposal, it wasn't built. So uh, the, the idea of this design is that people's lifestyle has been changing and people want a more luxurious lifestyle nowadays, right? Like as you can see, all the, the China power and everyone, like all the millenniums, they are already grown up and their spending power is different. So, when you are talking about a luxury life, can we actually can we designer actually change the world? Yes, we can do it because like, uh, when the clients they, they talk to us about this is they are they are talking about they want to build the most luxurious hotel in the world in the London and it's just next to the Tower Bridge. So what we do was like uh, all the rooms we actually have like a like a uh, like because all the facilities they are up to us to propose. So we have like a personal lab pool inside the room and the gym and we have like the bedroom which is like using all the most uh, exclusive products like the branded one like a Hermes uh, chair like a B and O stickers and we actually customize some of like a smart mirror that actually can show all the time and uh, temperature of the day on the mirror when you wake up and you are actually washing your face and this is already av available in the market right now and this is how we design experience that when you, the, when you step into the hotel room, then you will feel what is 
uh, the hotel wants you to feel right it's like how luxury it is this is what we make it and another one is like adding value to uh, to a space or to a product like a space a design in, uh, I mean like an interior space is our product so this is uh, one of another project that we have done in Vietnam it is like a, a beauty products so we actually did all the branding and everything because like design can actually uh, create a value for the brand imagine like today you guys might like, love to go to those beautiful cafe like to hang out there and to bring your computer bring your laptop to do assignments there right why is it because if, if the if the cafe is like not nicely designed and not nicely renovated would you really want to go there or would you would you bring your laptop to the kopitiam to do your assignment no right so this is why we add value to the space and if the space is not as beautiful as this and they're selling you a bowl of noodle at 30 ringgit would you go there no right and this is another one that is like a furniture space so why what is so important today is that due to the rise of the social media and the millenniums like they are upcoming today so one of the biggest influence of our generation is this one so imagine how important interior design it's not just interior design it's like designers how important are designs in the society in the world right now because like everyone need a instagramable picture for their instagram feed so like for interior design this is like obviously it's like a, a good opportunity for us because like we get a chance to like most of the clients who wanted to uh, set up a new business then they will know that actually uh, they need to get a designer to make some things that is instagramable so people want to come it's already becomes one of the marketing skill so it's just like it's marketing so that um, it's the most convenient source and it's the most convenient tools for us in the generation so sorry no doubt that uh you can see that in Malaysia, right now there is a lot of developments. Uh, they are actually already building like all the new properties. They actually they are focusing on the younger generation, the upcoming one. Why? Because like we always say that the houses are getting expensive and expensive. We how how do we afford that? So right now they are already building like houses that actually like to fit the so that we can afford it. But the size are getting smaller and smaller. It can be as small as 400 square feet one of it that I saw which is like even smaller than the stage here so how are we going to fit in all the all the stuff like everything that you need to use in a house inside a, such a small house like 400 square feet so this is where interior designers make the magic right so this is why interior design is going to be one of the most important role in the society uh, in the near future. Thank you.